Hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So um, if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm, Will, I'm Lynn Huber, and I want to welcome you out. So today, let's talk about the dangers of comparing yourself to others. <clears throat> you know, we all do it, right? It must be, it must be natural for us to make those kinds of com comparisons because nearly everyone does it. I mean, I find myself comparing myself to others all the time. But you know what? It doesn't mean it's a good move. It's it's actually not a great thing to compare yourself to others. And I'll tell you why. <clears throat> Excuse me. So comparing yourself to others is a reliable way to reduce your confidence and your motivation and your self-esteem. Not so much increase it, but to reduce it. You know, if you want to be the best possible you, avo avoid comparing yourself to others because there's other ways to do it. So some of the dangers about comparing yourself to others, you know, there's there's just several challenges that happen. I mean, number one, everyone has a different starting point. So, you know, I mean, you might be just learning to play golf, but your friend has been playing for 10 years. Or you might be interested in playing basketball, but you're only five feet tall and your friend is 18 inches taller than you. Or, you know, maybe... Maybe you um, want to learn to play golf, but your friend just started last year. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a big discrepancy. It's still not the same starting point. So you can't compare progress, results, or success unless the starting points are the same, and they never are. Um, everyone has a different level of talent. Some people are born with a high IQ. Some people have... Um, naturally have amazing hand-eye coordination. Others have a natural math for, a natural knack for music or math or numbers. Um, some people are just amazing at numbers and others just don't get it. Hi, Erica, good to see you. But we're all different. We have a different level of talent. And so again, that's kind of different starting points. Um, Number three, the resources available to you and another person are different. So if you want to play the violin and your father is a wealthy concert pianist, I mean, I'm sorry, violinist, then you have a huge, huge advantage over someone that's born into a financially challenged family, right, that has no experience in music. If you have, if you come from somebody, even, even they don't even have to have money, but if you come from a, a, a family of musicians, you're more likely going to have more natural talent and more ability just because you grew up with that. Um, and then number four, we tend to compare ourselves to the best in the world. This is <laughs> guilty. This is guilty. I'm guilty. But, you know, you don't you don't compare your Texas Hold'em skills to your neighbor, the electrician. You tend to compare it to the tournament winners, right? We don't compare ourselves to the average. We compare ourselves to the best the world has to offer. And, you know, even in my business, um, in, in Avon, for, for those that are in Avon, but it doesn't even matter whatever company you're in, it, you just if you're just starting your Avon business or you've been in Avon for a couple of years, you can't compare yourself to the person that's making six figures or seven figures. You just can't because you're not in the same place. You didn't start at the same place. You're not you're not starting at the same place now. They've been in their business for a while and maybe they're the best. The best of Avon doesn't mean you're going to be the best, right? It can be something you can reach for, but you can't compare yourself to that. So um, number five, there's always someone better. You know, there's there's a ha only a handful of people in the whole world that can make a reasonable claim to being the best at anything. I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world, right? That's a lot of people that you'd have to surpass to be the best. And it's just not possible. No matter who you are, no matter how good you are, there's always somebody who's better than you. So you can't, again, don't compare yourself to that person who might be better than you because it doesn't mean it's achievable for you. And so here's what's happening, right? It's so easy to see why comparisons can be dangerous because there's little to gain and there's too much risk. So comparing yourself doesn't provide useful information. You're just going to upset yourself. You're just going to be, you know, it's going to make you think you can't do it when that's not true at all. Um, you absolutely can do it. You can do amazing. Doesn't mean you can be the number one in the world, but you can be amazing at what you're doing. And so comparing yourself to someone else is not going to be what's going to help you be amazing. So what can you do instead? Well, the solution, probably number one, compare yourself to yourself. You know, pay attention to your progress over time. Notice your improvement. As long as you're making headway and you're moving forward and you're getting better at it, then you have a good reason to be excited. Strive to become better every day. 
you can have a goal. You can have a goal that you're aiming for, but compare yourself. Look at what you did today. Look at what you did yesterday. Are you better than you were yesterday? Are you a better person than you were yesterday? That is, that's profound. That's huge all by itself. Limit your social your exposure to social media. So in theory, social media exists to connect people, right? <laughs> Actually, it's often used as a way to show off. So you rarely get the real story. What you get is someone's best attempt to make their life look better than it really is. Everyone except you seems to be living a spectacular life, and that's not true. You know, it's people put their best out on social media. So be cautious with it. You know, people who um, have left social media that I've talked to have said that they are much happier. I don't think I could live without it. But, I, you know, I've talked to people who have said they're much happier since they've taken social media out of their lives. So just be cautious. And when you see somebody being wildly successful on social media or talking about what they've accomplished, Take that with a grain of salt because there's always two sides to every story and they may have achieved a lot of things, but there's also probably a whole backstory and a lot of pain and struggle behind that. And sometimes people don't always talk about that. Okay, so use the success of others as an inspiration. So, you know, seeing people being successful can inspire you. You can study how they became so successful. Um, you know, one of the things... Um, one good friend of mine, Lisa Wilbur with Avon, she's one of the top money earners in the company, and um, and she makes really good money. And um, when she first started, she was doing it, I think it was in the 80s, and um, she had she had a job as a secretary. She was making 25000 a year, and for her, that was like this amazing job. She really worked her way up to that, and that was like so, so such a cool thing. And keep in mind, this is like the 80s. Um, but she ended up getting laid off. And her husband, and she'd been kind of playing around with Avon, and her husband said to her, why don't you do something with that Avon thing? And she's like, nobody in my district, nobody that I know even sells $25,000, let alone earns $25,000. I mean, so she just couldn't even see how that could be possible. But she was out of a job, so she figured I might as well try. Let me see what I can do. And Lisa, she's a good friend of mine, and she's one of those types of people that she doesn't just stop halfway. She goes for something. She goes all for it. So in her mind, she's going, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to make 25,000 a year with this. But while I'm at it, I'm going to work to go to the top of the company. And then when I get to the top of the company, I'll decide if it was worth it. And what an amazing way to look at it. I mean, she is at the top of the company now because of, exactly because of that attitude. And nobody had even sold 25,000 in a year. And she's now making hundreds of thousands a year now. I mean, it's not the 80s anymore, but even back then she was making way big money. And so that's kind of, that's inspiration for everybody else. That's, you know, you can't be jealous of the fact that you're not where she's at and you shouldn't be comparing yourself because you're not where she's at, but instead use it as a, wow, that's what's possible. If that's possible, then that's something I can shoot for because if, if she can do it, then I can do it. And it doesn't mean you're going to get there as fast as she did, or it might take you longer. It might take you shorter. You know, who knows? Because, again, our skills are different. Our starting point is different. Everything, our, even our personality is different. But it's a great way to use it as inspiration of where you can go. So, um, you know, if you are comparing yourself to others, please please work on stopping that. Please, it, it's just not helpful because this type of comparison can be detrimental to your confidence and your self-esteem. So instead, compare your current version of yourself to the version of yourself three months ago. That's a fair comparison to make. Or what you were last year, how you've grown from last year or even month to month, but compare yourself from yourself and where you're going and what progress you've made because then it becomes easy to see your progress or lack of progress. And that's, you know, that's something you need to be aware of too. If you're not making progress, you need to know that. So compare yourself to yourself. So the best comparison you can make is to your past self. Set a few goals and spend some time each day working towards those goals. You'll be happy when you see the progress you've made. So, hey, get down below and share with me. What ideas do you have about comparing yourself to others or who you compare yourself with and what's working for you. I would love to hear it. Get below. Tell me in the comments. And um, Erica, thanks for being here with me today. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great day.